photo shoot with just one lens and that lens is this the Tamron 28 to 2.8 a fantastic lens I clicked some great pictures and I made a great fashion film with this lens just this one lens I have shot with my friend Roshni Chopra so let's go and shoot oh and for those who don't know me I'm Aris I'll see you after the shoot bye so we decided to shoot outdoors over here near Asiatic Library, a very prominent and a very popular place to shoot in Bombay. And it gives you this old Bombay feel and Roshni was dressed up in a nice sari initially where we took these nice great pictures, very moody tone. I edited in a way that it gives like a, this old nostalgic kind of a feel to it. Of course, there were lots of people around. There were some wedding photographers, so it gets a little tricky to avoid them when you're shooting pictures. But well, sometimes you have to use Photoshop to remove them completely out of the picture. So as you can see over here, Roshni was, uh, as usual, doing a great job posing and being in front of the camera. Then she changed into this white outfit and I used this white backdrop, the white doors of this library, which kind of just fit in with perfectly with the whole uh, costume and the whole attire over here. And um, of course, there were people around, but uh, I was trying to avoid them as much as possible. Then, of course, uh, with this lens, which is the 28 to 75 Tamron, it was such a pleasure and such a ease to shoot with this one lens because you can zoom in when you need to get the close up shots and you can, of course, zoom out to get more wider shots. So in times like these, when you don't have an assistant or somebody to really hold on to your gear, uh, a lens like this is very, very convenient and very versatile. Then the second look was uh, near this garden, near this park, the Hornman Circle over here. And uh, over here again, Roshni was uh, wearing this overcoat on a dress with these shades. The purpose of this shoot is also to click some Instagram uh, videos and some reels, which we tried doing that too after this. Um, and uh, we kind of uh, tried a little technique over here in which we wanted to do a little transition where Roshni is getting into a cab, uh, as you can see over here. And uh, when she gets out, she's wearing an Indianized version of this same outfit. So uh, in the second look, then she wore this little jacket and um, kind of used this little bag and accessories to make it look a little more fusion Indian kind of a attire. Then, of course, I was also shooting this fashion film um, on the side with the same lens. And uh, of I didn't use a gimbal at all. And this uh, lens with my Sony A7R3 camera just uh, did the job perfectly. I didn't need a gimbal, as you can see over here. I'm just using the camera strap and walking as lightly on my feet as possible as to avoid any shake or jerks. And the footage turned out quite smooth. Uh, I'm, in fact, I was quite impressed that I really didn't need any sort of a gimbal to get these smooth, really great shots straight out of the camera. And then uh, I used this arch over here uh, between these pillars where Roshni was standing and then we shot some great pictures over here too. Then Roshri wore this lovely uh, reddish orangish outfit uh, and uh, I wanted to get the old Bombay uh, buildings at the back and it just turned out beautiful. The uh, light was perfect, it was early morning so the sun wasn't too harsh and uh, in a time like this it's perfect to use natural light and you don't need any reflector or any external light really because the light is nice and soft and it is great for your model's face even here like you can see uh, we are trying to click some videos also again i'm moving uh, as lightly on my feet as possible using just the camera strap uh, to use some tension for the camera to be as steady as possible and uh, avoiding any shakes or any jerks because i didn't have a gimbal with me at that moment and i say it all comes with practice the more you practice with your camera uh, the more you know how much or how delicately do you need to move it around and uh, how to get your shots as smoothly as possible even when you do not have a gimbal with you and then we use of course this beautiful uh, red wall with a red door and i think this look was really coming out well with the whole red outfit the red backdrop <laughs> Then
then we moved to this fort area where there was this little fountain which is a very old classic fountain of bombay and uh, uh, the buildings around it and this whole attire um, with these trousers it looked beautiful and uh, it just fit perfectly again with the whole theme of the shoot that we had a retro bombay kind of a vibe <music> Okay, so it's a wrap. Yay! <laughs> and we finally shot downside today. First shoot after Corona, after the lockdown. Yeah. In Corona. Oh know. yeah, that's for Roshni. <laughs> this is my second shoot, but yeah, outdoors for the first time after a long, long time. Yeah, we really wanted to sort of claim the streets and do something fun. I wanted to put together looks that are very Indian, street style, modern, um, and just sort of express. The beauty that I feel being like a modern Indian in India right now. Yeah, and we we try to do more of videos, more of Instagram reels, some transition that we'll do in post. Yeah, I can't wait to see the edits. So like, yeah. it's all well about yeah. the transitions now, right? Yeah. So it'll look great, I'm sure. So see you next time. Bye. Okay, so I'm back after the shoot which I did with only this one lens that was the 28-75 lens and it was a breeze. This lens is such a great lens, such a sharp lens, it's a versatile lens and it's bang on when it comes to focus for a Sony camera. So I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes and the footage that I showed in this video. Uh, for more of my footage and my work, please follow me on my Instagram handle over here and if you want more of such videos, please don't forget to subscribe. It'll help you, it'll help me, it'll help the world. Maybe not the world, but yeah, you get the picture. I'll see you next time. Until then, keep shooting.